the topic selected is uh, presence of non condensable gases in evaporation effects and remedies we all know about the presence of non condensable gases in the evaporation and what it does also so let us uh, go into in detail and uh, we will try to seek some remedies for that what are the non condensable gases in evaporation gases or air mixed along with the heating water vapor in calendria of heat exchanger but not get condensed along with the vapor remains in the calendria these are called non condensable gases and this is predominantly air and very little uh, volatile gases which have high boiling point why are they need to be removed from evaporation air and non condensable gases are major problems are in identified by any any steam systems both can cause production losses and steam systems operation and performance get deteriorated because air is one of the greatest insulator a major problem in operation objective is to eliminate the air and the from this steam steam system that's why it just needs to be eliminated from the evaporation we all know that in relax principle the third principle if you see it in any apparatus in which steam or vapor is condensed it is necessary to withdraw continuously the non condensable gases which is unavoidably left in the heating surface compartments otherwise it totally occupies the heating surface area and it almost stops the evaporation uh, just to depict the uh, just what happens if air is present in the inside calendria and what will be the effect on your heating vapor and uh, temperatures by using partial pressure of air and water vapor you just we have uh, examples have been taken from 0% to 196% or 100% air available in the uh, inside along with the water steam mixture if you take it for the particular pressure of 85.7 kpa and temperature 95.35 you find this blue curve is the uh, pressure pressure of air in the system and second is the temperature of water vapor in degrees and this one is the pressure of air in the uh, water vapor in, in kpa in the system so if you can see here, at 0% uh, they have their uh, defined uh, pressure and temperatures as long as the air increases uh, they gets uh, dropped out and almost if you see in 50 55% uh, they can become to 50% of their uh, original uh, pressures so almost uh, when when it reaches to the bottom level almost you are uh, our this uh, entire calendria is occupied with your Yeah, only. So NCG uh, almost eliminates your evaporation if it presents in the evaporator. So we have said that air reduces the temperature of uh, heating steam and vapor. So just we have uh, tabulated the uh, uh, these effects. See, suppose NCG is zero, you have your calendria pressure at a rated. Uh, is the exact the steam pressure of uh, pressure present in the calendria and corresponding temperature 100% and corresponding body temperature we find it 53.5 kpa and temperature 88.3 suppose in 10% uh, the pressure comes to 80 the temperature also drops to almost 1.2 degrees it is uh, drop is there and at 20% uh, it again drops to 74 and the temperature comes to uh, 91 and that 30% uh, it uh, comes to 67 and uh, temperature of vapor is 89 so let us see what is the effect on the uh, evaporation rate and the delta d we see it, uh, the, the available delta is delta is uh, at 0% percent air it is 7.1 but whereas in uh, 10% it is becomes 5.2 and in 20% it is becomes 3.16 and in 30% becomes 0.75 at the same time the evaporation rate also it is coming down if you see it uh, 
the evaporation rate is stands at 12.19 kg per square centimeter but whereas it drops almost 30% it comes to 1.9 we just see the uh, uh, total difference in the evaporation it almost come to halt so if you see the effect of uh, ncg in your evaporator it totally spoils your evaporation and we, here we just to try to say what is the columnized the, the, the reason this things so components which reduces your uh, uh, evaporations see first you are uh, this uh, heating vapor is there second is uh, this is your ncg level ncg layer and the third is your condensate layer and fourth is the uh, resting particles outside your tube which is sticking and uh, the next one is your uh, heating surface tube tube area and inside also you have a small scale scale coating of your product and finally this is your boiling liquid so your uh, heat has to pass all through this medias and then reach the liquid so if you see the under this uh, stagnated film of air the ncg offers a very uh, high resistance to the heat flow so the entire layer has to be removed quickly to keep your evaporation intact the extraction system of for ncg withdrawal they, so we need a good extraction system for ncg from the evaporator so poor extractions result in we know we have seen the very low htc resulting in poor performance and increased maintenance due to scaling the uneven evaporation resulting in undesired output bricks the ncg tends to accumulate somewhere else comfortably in some areas of the uh, heating um, surface so in those areas you do never have evaporation just the juice gets circulated and never no evaporation happening in the uh, in those areas whereas the others other tubes are overloaded and becomes uh, quickly scaled out and it gives uh, undesired output bricks and it results in higher operating costs also and ultimately it is affecting the downstream production so uh, next comes to our mind is uh, what is a good design so the calendria sh should be designed for a good vapor entry and there should be no back pressure of uh, your feeding uh, vapor, water vapor second thing is uh, the vapor should travel less distance uh, so that uh, it occupies the full calendria and uh, we have to withdraw the condensate quickly from the system and the more is uh, the, the ncg collection system placed at appropriate location and uh, right sizing of ncg collection pipes uh, and choosing right velocity for vapor stream ensuring the right controlling of uh, ncg flow out from the system this is very important and uh, effectively using the residual vapor escaping through ncg for energy saving we at scd over the past 3 decades have developed and supplied evaporators to sugar industry and sugar refineries all over the world over the years scd through its uh, con continuous development and innovation are offering high efficient falling film evaporators vertical continuous pans incorporating high performance ncg withdrawal designs cooling and condensing and waste heat recovery systems and low temperature evaporation in mbr the scd products uh, we come back to tubular polyfilm evaporator it are uh, we have a very low delta t operation of 1 to 4 degrees which is very possible in our evaporators and greater number of effects can be accommodated to give delta t and delta p we have highest uh, energy efficiency system and we can offer highest heat transfer rate up to 5000 watts per meter square per degree kelvin that our design is a very compact and modular design and very having a very uh, good uh, uh, ncg withdrawal system to keep the effectively this uh, heating surfaces and uh, ensure high rate of uh, uh, heat transfer coefficients ultimately our configurations available 
with the heating surface areas ranging up to 10,000 square meter in a single unit. That we have uh, installations uh, in several parts of our uh, countries. You see the battery of uh, installations which we have supplied, and almost more than 4,000, 4 lakh 50,000 square meters uh, heating surface area and global installations we have done. And plate type evaporation evaporators we have supplied uh, around 22, 22 installations, more than 85,000 square meters and globally we have supplied it. And it is one of our uh, premium products uh, for uh, uh, concentrating all kinds of uh, liquids. And we have our spray continuous vertical pan. It was suitable for all mass kit boiling right from refined to C mass kit. And delta T is from 15 degrees to 20, 15, 5 to 15 degrees operations. And we, we have our special canium halandria with a high pumping rate and mechanical circulators and other things. We have, by adapting this technology, we minimize the accessories like receiver pumps, liquid storage tanks, excess, everything, and minimize the footprint requirement suitable for outdoor installations. And it has a very good uh, NCC uh, with royal designs. The performance parameters of uh, the SCP is given. There is a technical uh, thing that it is the total height will come from 25 to 35 uh, meters and diameters ranging from uh, 4 to 6.5 depending upon the capacity. This and heating surface for chamber also it is a variety of designs that are available 250 to 1500 meter square is there and it is designed for uh, steam heating from 60 to 90 degrees at or 20 to 70 kPa. Designed for outlet temperature of 60, 30 to 60 degrees. That is liquid concentration happens from 60 to 80% of total solids. You can see the uh, pictures of uh, these uh, SCPs, various installations, and it is equipped with a mechanical circulator of uh, good design, and it is a planetary gearbox is fitted to reduce reduced boiling time, variable speed circulation compatible with the crystallization rate trend is uh, automatically it is controlled, fully automatic control system we are providing. This direct contractor heater is a versatile heater. It is, uh, it can be used for uh, uh, through uh, evaporator vapors for concentrating juices, heating juices or it, waste heat recovery systems also we can apply it and to the, uh, initially we can heat it through waste heat recovery system. Evacuation of dissolved air happens from the venting which improves the clarification and settling also that is there. This is condensate flash sugar supplied for the along with the by evaporators or individually also we can supply it. Exhaust condensate heat recovery system from the exhaust team condensate which can be used for uh, heating these supply to the centrifugal machines at uh, 100 degrees centigrade. This is one of the versatile molasses conditioners. It is actually it works on uh, uh, non-condensable gases and it is connected to your vacuum system. So almost whatever non-condensable gases we are drawing from the uh, evaporator system can be used so that uh, all the heat energy can be recovered from the system and only the non-condensable gases escapes through the uh, vent through a two atmosphere like that we can provide it. And this is sugar vacuum melter. It works under vacuum uh, thing. The, the vapor to, from the sugar melter is connected to the ejector. You will get a uniform melting um, a solution without any crystals and other things. And ultimately the cooling and condensing system which we are pioneered to these systems and supplied almost 400 and above systems for all over the uh, industry. Highly energy efficient due to distribution of water in spray and jet stream through uh, spray specially designed uh, nozzles and other things. This is a mechanical electrical uh, dehydrator. It works on uh, MVR uh, technology and it is a very low temperature operation, operator operations at low delta T also, suitable for handling wide variety of fluids concentration, that is. Another our product is the low temperature evaporator modules. 
plate type plate heat uh, high technology we are using it to use the waste heat for juice concentration and it is very compact and modular multiple effect design in single unit it is all there finally we come into the mill electrification and automation we also do solution for various mill sizes and drive combinations of individual drives attaching and complete dcs and plc based automation we are doing it so we come to an end of the presentation and we i thank you very very much for all the participants for patiently hearing this uh, uh, presentation